Okay, I'm Ed Rousel, the conservation officer at Chichester Harbour, and I've been here around about four years. And now I'm going to tell a few stories about um, the ups and downs of bird life in the harbour to start with. Um, little egrets, um, which were made extinct in the in the UK in uh, the 17th century by the trade in um, feathers for for decorating hats, and it's one of the primary reasons why the um, RSPB was set up to um, to basically protect this bird, but it did go extinct. Um, and then in the 90s, some, a few egrets started coming coming up to Chichester Harbour and some of the other local areas. And since the 90s, those numbers have increased from a handful up to 266 birds in 2007. Um, and now they're also breeding in a couple of locations around the harbour. So we've actually got them back as a breeding bird since then. Um, another species that's had some quite significant ups and downs has been the Brent Goose, for which Chichester Harbour is internationally significant, with about 5% of the world population of Brent Geese wintering in Chichester Harbour. Um, they declined historically due to a loss of their food plant. Um, and since we actually started recording, numbers have gone from 3,000 birds in the harbour up to a peak of um, 12,000 in um, again in 2008. Um, over that same time period, so some of the kind of downers is that um, shell duck in 1969 when we started recording these birds we had about three and a half thousand birds overwintering in the harbour. Um, that went down to just 450 in the year 2008. Um, and then some of the species that, that their populations have probably changed due to climate change would include Chetty's Warbler, which um, which uh, quite an unmistakable song, just the fact it's so, so loud. They're actually rarely seen, but they've got this amazingly loud song. And probably due to climate change, they've um, increased around the harbour. And we've got about 18 pairs now around the harbour, which... Um, Prior to 1980, there were there were none, so they've increased quite well, and it's hoped that these cold winters won't knock them out too much. Um, prior to 1986, um, seal sightings were kind of quite irregular, and you know a fisherman might spot one in the harbour, and they they're just basically transient visitors to the harbour. But basically, from 86, a small population has gradually built up from one or two individuals. And now it's estimated we've got between 20 and 24 seals in the harbour and what seems to be a thriving population um, that nationally actually is declining. So, so we're doing something right here in the harbour for the seals.